Okay, let's start our next point from the unit second. Okay, last time we have discussed regarding the uh, spare tire problem using the strips language. <clears throat> okay, so our today's point of discussion is the okay based on our previous concept only. Okay, last time uh, in the rule based expert system. we have discussed the forward chaining and the uh, backward chaining okay so related to that only our today's part is there okay forward state space planning uh, which is being also referred as the progression planner and uh, second point is the backward state space planning which is also referred as the regression planner okay so as i said uh, the forward state state space planning as in short i have written fssp or the progression planner is related with the previous concept that we have studied that was nothing but our forward chaining okay i hope all of you are remembering the concept of forward chaining yes can anybody tell me what is mean by the forward chaining yes what is the concept of forward chaining hmm yes anybody what was the concept of forward chaining and the backward chaining hmm yes rahane forward chaining um uh, move forward for some conclusion hmm yes forward chaining is nothing but moves moves for towards mm -hmm. for some co conclusion from using what using uh, reasoning strategy and okay. set of conditions condition exactly okay that point we have seen we forward chaining nothing but the try to reach to the some uh, conclusion or to the conclusion we can also call uh, con to the conclusion goal state also using some fact or some condition understood that all the concept of forward chaining we have seen so this uh, forward state space planning or the progression planner is quite similar to that only we are going to see the some example in that okay so here i have mentioned the for which is which is also being referred as the forward state space search also okay what exactly mean by the state space search that already we have discussed state space search is nothing but the searching within particular domain or the area by utilizing the uh, set of state okay and this concept is also referred as here the forward state space planning forward state space search or the forward state space planning and which is being popularly also referred as the progression planner now reason behind it is called as the progression planner is nothing but what we always start in case of this always start from the initial state okay and we try to reach some goal state understood that is the reason this is being referred as what the progression planner okay so here in this what we what the ai agent do ai agent does the or uh, he it, it plan the sequence of action starting from the initial state okay in order to reach to the or in order to attain the goal state understood so that is nothing but the concept of forward state space search or the forward state space planning which is being also referred as here the progression planner okay so as also same thing i have written here the ai agent always start from the initial state okay in order to find some uh, goal state okay or in order to reach some goal state okay now <clears throat> while this journey from the uh starting state to the goal state is going on okay 
so during these uh, there is a need to consider or need to perform the number of actions as we have discussed if you want to go to the from one state to the another state there is a need to perform some action by the ai agent understood and this action has to be performed on each particular state so that the ai agent can reach to the next state and we also discuss if some action get performed then there, there is a definitely uh, definitely some kind of effect of that action is there okay this point last uh, last time also we have clear okay also we have discussed in order to in case of the planning okay in case of the planning there is a need of some prerequisite to be get satisfied what in order to do the planning and perform the action okay you know to perform the action what is the required thing there is a need of some prerequisite prerequisite to be get satisfied understood where at some initial state what do you mean by the prerequisite need to be get satisfied yes prerequisite means what if you want to implement some planning okay we have seen we are ai agent need to perform some action and you know to perform the action what is required some prerequisite need to be get satisfied what is mean by the prerequisite yes condition conditions precondition we have last time seen it is called as a preconditions okay so to implement the any planning why we why we need to implement the planning to reach the goal state from the initial state and to what is the way of implementing the planning way of implementing the planning is nothing but the performing different kind of actions okay and in order to perform the action what is the required thing some precondition or prerequisite need to be get satisfied at the initial state understood then some kind of action can be performed and then it is it, it is possible to reach to the goal state so point here you should remember is what here i have written important point you, uh, you should remember here is that the available action include the preconditions and the effect of that action while uh, uh, starting the journey from initial state and try to reach to the goal state okay so this is nothing but the basic concept of what the progression planner or forward states planning okay this point is understood yes sir okay now we are going to make it more clear using some uh, good example okay now where actually this required the forward states planning or the progression planner now this is being required in the different kinds of the expert system okay or any system where the intelligence is required okay also we have seen uh, in that uh, different kind of expert system the fssp or the forward chaining or the progression planner always try to uh, give us the answer to the question like what will happen next understood and so this particular uh, forward chaining or the forward states planning is being utilized in where in which component of the expert system inference engine okay we have seen that so in the inference engine it follow the chain of condition and the derivation and finally we try to reach to the outcome finally we try to reach the outcome in the sense we try to reach to the goal state okay so every time there is it is need to consider the different facts and the rules okay and from that facts and rules we try to reach to the some conclusion or we try to reach to the some next state or to the goal state okay now same thing i have been uh, describe here this diagram also we have seen last time also okay with some utilizing the facts okay we try to reach some this sub decision which is being also referred as the sub goals and then we try to reach to the our main goal understood so this is a general concept of forward states planning or the progression planner okay now <clears throat> we have to understand the same thing okay we have to understand the same thing with some example okay and here uh, we are uh, taking the example of weather forecasting system okay what example we are going to see weather forecasting system what do you mean by the weather forecasting system in the sense 
weather forecasting is what to check weather temperature okay hawa manacha uh, andaza understood now this uh, forward states planning exam in related to that we have to see this example of the weather forecasting system okay now let's see we have developed some rules okay for the weather forecasting system and these are these rules okay and by using these rules and some fact we'll try to reach to the some goal okay now this rule which i have mentioned here this is nothing but your knowledge base okay that you will understand these rules we have mentioned here this is nothing but the combination of some fact and the result okay now this is nothing but the acting as what the knowledge base you got the point and when the knowledge base comes uh, into the utilization for the ai agent when the knowledge base comes into the utilization for some ai agent what is the use of the knowledge base for the ai agent yes what is the utilization of knowledge base knowledge base is what hmm uh, past data means something uh, which is being stored okay in order to help to the ai agent ai agent can search the certain uh, information in that knowledge base and try to give us the output understood that is nothing but the knowledge base as a database which is being utilized by the ai agent now here for the weather forecasting system we are utilizing this knowledge base okay and here in that knowledge base we have defined some rules okay uh, which is related with the weather forecasting system now what are these rules suppose first rule is what if we suspect the temperature is less than 20 sec in the rule one first thing is there second thing and there is a humidity in the air first thing is what if we suspect the temperature is less than 20 and second thing and there is a humidity in the air then outcome can be what there are the chances of the rain this is the first rule okay got the point this these are the yes. two things and this is nothing but the it's quite related outcome okay now these rules are given okay these rules we are going to utilize to uh, uh, reach to the conclusion okay let's see how second rule is what if sun is behind the cloud <clears throat> and air is very cool then outcome of this two fact can be then we suspect temperature temperature is less than 20 what if sun is behind the cloud and air is very cool from that the conclusion can be made is what we suspect the temperature is what less than 20 understood <clears throat> third rule says what if air is very heavy okay if air is very heavy then we can con conclude from that there is a humidity in the air what there is a humidity in the air so these are the general rules are given okay all of you got these rules this is these rules are given for weather forecasting system okay yes all of you understood these rules these are given yes. okay and these given rules we are going to utilize yes. these given rules we are going to utilize okay uh, for our uh, uh, example where we uh, in case of the forward states planning or forward states per search we try to uh, reach the goal state from the initial state okay <clears throat> now these rules are given okay and we have given some following facts okay two facts we have given one fact is what the sun is behind the cloud okay keep in mind this fact because we are going to need this in the example first fact is what sun is behind the cloud and second fact is what air is very heavy and cool okay got these two facts first fact is what sun is behind the cloud okay and 
second fact is air is very heavy and cool okay let's see what problem we have to solve now now problem given is what user using forward chaining or the forward stairs planning try to conclude that there are the chances of the rain okay you got the problem what we have to solve we have to reach to the conclusion what conclusion we have to reach there are the chances of the rain now from what we have to reach that conclusion what thing what facts we have given we have given this fact got the point okay we have given this fact and from this fact we have to reach to the conclusion means in the sense these facts are being acting as as, as what here the initial state yes or no correct yes sir because we have to utilize this fact and we have to reach this goal this conclusion so can i call this particular set of fact as a initial state yes or no yes sir and the conclusion to which we have to reach can we call it as a goal state yes or no yes sir yes so we have call the fact which is given as a initial state and we have call the conclusion that we have to reach as a goal state understood now now in order to do this we have which kind of database is given knowledge base is given for the ai agent that i told you that knowledge base in the sense that three rules are given okay now using that three rules and these facts we have to reach this goal state that is our problem you understand the problem statement what we have to do yes sir yes so as already we have know forward chaining is uh, nothing but starting from the fact and reach to the goal state this is the very important point related with the forward chaining or the forward states planning this method is also referred as what the data driven method can we call this particular method as a data driven method yes or no because we have given some fact that fact are nothing but our data yes or no yes or no we have given some fact can i call to this fact as some data yes sir and using that data we are reaching we are yes, reaching sir. to the goal state using that data we are reaching to the goal state yes or no yes sir so can can we can we call the forward states planning or the forward chaining as the data driven method yes or no yes sir okay because this we are going to compare to the backward state space search also or backward state space planning also okay so as we know the forward chaining also refer as the data driven method so we will start from the given fact means we will we have to start from the given data or given facts understood now what fact we have given data. what fact we have given we have given this fact <clears throat> got the point we have given this fact sun is behind the cloud and air is very heavy and cool now these two facts are given <clears throat> okay now we will try to simplify these two facts now first fact is our sun is behind the cloud it is okay now second fact is the combination of two fact yes or no read it properly second fact is the combination of two fact which two fact yes. air, is air is very heavy that is the one fact and air is very cool because this statement is connected by the and what the point yes. so this second fact we simplify into the another two fact that is first is this already second is the air is very heavy and third is what air is very cool okay so totally how many facts we are having now three facts correct yes sir so we have the three fact one is the sun is beyond the cloud second is the air is very heavy and third is the air is very cool and these three facts we have to utilize to reach to the our goal or to the conclusion there are the chances of the rain okay let's see how it how it how we can do this okay now in case of the forward chaining as we have discussed we have to reach to the goal using some given facts 
okay now how we are going to do this okay now how we are going to do this we are going to match what we are going to do we are going to match if and part of the rule base what we are going to do what match the if and part of the rule base or the knowledge base knowledge base is given here in the rule section yes or no correct yes sir now what we have to do we have to match the given fact with the knowledge base and from that we are going to create the new fact okay you just just keep in mind this statement we apply it to the example then you will get clear idea we have to match the if and part of the rule base with our given facts and from that we are going to create some new fact which will be present in the then part of that rule understood now what exactly this means we'll see okay <clears throat> now where the given fact is what sun is behind the cloud you keep in mind there's three facts sun is behind the cloud air is very heavy and third fact is what air is very cool understood now this is being written incorrectly i have this is actually related to the backward state what should have been here what will happen next kind of question uh, we have to ask to the knowledge base yes or no why this happen it is a part of the backward states planning correct yes now here to the knowledge base what kind of question we have to ask what kind of question what will happen next or why this happen yes to the given knowledge base what question ai agent will ask one question is what what will happen next or why this happen out of these two question in the forward states planning what question will be asked first or the second what will happen what next? will happen next so here incorrectly next. i have mentioned here okay here you have to consider what what will happen next that kind of question will be answered by the knowledge base okay now we'll start from the as forward states planning says what we we'll start from the given data or the fact and we try to reach to the goal state now here we have to consider our given uh, initial state is nothing but our given fact now we have how many facts are there three facts sun is behind the cloud air is very heavy and the air is very cool now out of these three fact here you can see the two fact i have mentioned which two facts sun is behind the cloud okay first fact and third fact air is very cool okay remember these two facts sun is behind the cloud and air is very cool understood now we have to check actually what we have to check from the given three facts which three facts these three facts okay from the given three facts which are the fact which are matching with the knowledge base what we have to see from the given this fact out of this three facts which facts are matching with the knowledge base where is our knowledge base here yes or no this is our knowledge base yes or no yes sir okay this is our knowledge base now what i am saying what we have to come what we have to do we have to compare given fact with this knowledge base we have to compare this given fact uh, we have to compare with this knowledge base what we have to compare what we have to compare the given fact now given fact give this th two facts we have simplified into the three facts yes or no correct yes sir what three facts first is sun is behind the cloud second is what air is very air heavy is very and heavy. third is what cool. air is very air cool is very cool now what cool. i said you have to compare this fact with this knowledge base in case of the forward state space what we have to do you have to compare these facts with this knowledge base and then you have to see which facts are matching with this knowledge base 
Okay. Now, if you see the three facts, out of these three facts, our two facts are matching with the rule two. Yes or no? Yes, sir. See here. Behind our fact A and the fact C. Correct? Yes, sir. Our fact A and the fact C are matching with these two facts of the rule two. Yes or no? Yes. Now, as these facts are matching with this rule, we will get the outcome as a what here? This outcome, we, this outcome we will get, yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, Why? Because our given facts are matching with these two facts. Correct? So our given facts are matching with these two facts. So our outcome will be what? This. Correct? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. So same thing I have mentioned in the this this part. Okay. Same thing I am trying to explain you. We match if and part of the rule base, and from that we try to create the new fact which is present in the then part of that knowledge base. The same thing we have done now. Correct? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, okay. sir. And so after comparing that, okay. After comparing that, what we will get? That is the point. As I told you, these two facts are matching with the which rule? Rule number two. Yes or no? Correct? Yes, sir. So in the rule number two, this is matching. So what is in the then part of the rule number two? Then part of the rule number two is what? I shown there. We suspect temperature is less than 20. This is the outcome. Yes or no? Correct. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, this outcome will now become the another new fact. You got the point. This outcome now become what? This will become another new fact. Correct? Correct. The same thing I have mentioned here. We match if and part of the rule base with what? With the given fact. And from that, we try to create the new fact. So that new fact will be present where in the then part. So then part of the rule number second is what? We suspect temperature is less than 20. Correct? Up to this understood? Yes, sir. So what, what the concept is saying, now this new, this, this particular outcome here will become the new fact. Understood? Now, we have the previously three fact A, B, and C. Correct? Okay. Out of these three fact, we now utilize the A fact and the C fact. Correct? Yes. From that another fact we have got, this is the we suspect temperature is less than 20. Correct? Yes, sir. Now we have now we have the two facts available. What now we have the two facts available? Which two facts available? The A, A and C we have utilized. Correct. So what we have available now? A is very heavy. A B, is fact. Very heavy. B fact um. and this newly created fact. Yes or no? Yes. Now what we have to do next, we have to compare this fact where, now you tell me, we have to compare this fact where? Knowledge, knowledge base. One. This knowledge new, one. new two facts we have to compare with the knowledge base. Um. Now, if you compare these two facts, air is very heavy. And we suspect temperature is less than 20. Now, just remember this. We will go to the knowledge base. What knowledge? What we have to compare? Air is very heavy. And we suspect temperature is cool. less than, uh, sorry, 20. Okay, what we have fact? Now, out of that two fact, our one fact, one fact, which fact is matching here? Rule one and rule three. No, out of two fact, one fact is what air is very heavy, and second fact is very what very heavy. 
सेकंड फॅक्ट इज व्हॉट सस्पेक्ट टेम्परेचर लेस दॅन ट्वेंटी आता हे ह्या दोन फॅक्ट जे आहेत आपल्याला गिवन रोल थ्री रोल थ्री मॅच होत आहे कुठल्या रूल मध्ये मॅच होत आहे रोल थ्री रूल थ्री ओनली एर इज वे जो बी फॅक्ट आहे ती तर मॅच होती ना करेक्ट बरोबर मग इथं मॅच झाली तर आउटकम काय येईल आपलं देर इज अटी इन दर अंडरस्टूड नाव विच न्यू फॅक्ट नाव वी आव अवेलेबल देर इज अटी इन दर दॅट इज अ वन फॅक्ट this is the new outcome that's why these also become the new fact yes or no yes sir and another fact which is available is what uh we suspect temperature is less than 20 we suspect temperature is less than 20 understood now same thing i have mentioned in the descriptive section let me take you there okay as we have uh, compare these two facts are uh, out of these two facts one fact is matching to the knowledge base okay and after that so now if this b fact is matching with the knowledge base we will compare with the if part of the rule 3 okay same thing we have done and now we will get the new facts available out of that new facts one is what there is a humidity in the air and we suspect temperature is less than 20 up to this all of you understood yes sir now what we have to see what we have to see these two new available facts are matching with which rule see what was our fact there is a suspect temperature is less than 20 and humidity in the air it is matching with which rules rule 1 rule number 1 1 now what is the outcome of the rule number 1 then after matching there are chances of rain there are chances there is chance of rain is this our goal state yes Yes. yes and so yes sir here you can see how we have reached from the given facts by utilizing the knowledge base to the our goal state okay and this is nothing but the forward states place search or the forward states place planning understood yes sir yes sir yes sir so we have finally reached to the goal state from where we have started from the facts to the to that facts what we are calling initial state and mm-hmm. where we have to reach to the goal state to that goal, goal state, state we are calling it as a final outcome or the uh-huh. conclusion uh-huh. understood the forward state space search yes sir yes sir now let's see its counterpart that is what backward state space search here i have mentioned the backward state space or the bssp is also referred as the regression planner opposite to the progression planner progression planner was what starting from the initial state so that you can reach to the goal state now opposite to that there is a regression planner now it is what we, from the goal state will try to reach to the initial state you got the point that is nothing but the regression planner yes or no yes sir yes so same thing i have mentioned here backward state space search or the backward state space planning is also called as the regression planner and from the name you can see the processing will always start from the finishing state processing will start from always the finishing state or the finishing goal state. state and then we will go backward to the finishing. initial state that is the funda of backward state space planning or the backward state space search understood and <clears throat> now we'll try to see with the same example here okay we'll try to see with the same example here this is the for the weather forecasting system this is the knowledge base given correct same knowledge base we are going to utilize okay yes yes sir yes now sir. this knowledge base we are going to utilize to uh, implement the example of backward chaining or the backward state planning now as we know in the backward chaining goal now as we have seen the forward state space search is called as the what a data driven method correct because we are yes, starting sir. from the data there and we are try to reach to the goal 
now this backward state space search is called as what goal driven method opposite to the data driven method it is called as what goal driven method why it is called the goal driven method because, because we are starting from the goal and we'll try to reach to the fact correct opposite to the first concept okay now similarly we have given two facts that two facts we are going to simplify into the three facts first second third same point correct yes sir but now we are not going to start with this fact we are going to start with the conclusion or the outcome yes sir okay and from this outcome we will try to reach this fact understood yes sir yes. means what there we are asking the what kind of question to the knowledge base what will happen next correct hmm and we are getting answer in the then part correct yes sir here what question we are going to ask why this why happened why this happened understood yes sir let's see how is how it will proceed <clears throat> so we'll start from this point there are the chances of the rain now we have to see where this is written in the rule which part in then part of the rule what we have to see where is this part is written there are the chances of the rain let's see as we are starting from the goal state mm -hmm. goal state yes. now you have to see in the then part of the rules where is the, there is a chances of the rain is being written where is written here goal one mm -hmm. now from this we will get the two fact yes or no in the forward state space search we are going from this fact to this conclusion yes or no yes sir now yes, sir. in case of the backward state space search from this conclusion we will go to the this fact yes simple one mm. so yes, using this we will get the two facts now which which you can call also two sub goals also now which two facts we have got we suspect temperature is less than 20 and second fact is what there is a humidity in there understood yes sir now again you have to check in which part of the rule in which part of the in which then part of the rule these facts are available remember these two facts where we have to see that in which part of the rule in which then part of the rule these two facts are available okay which two facts we suspect temperature is less than 20 uh, and there is a humidity in the air now in the then part we have to see okay remember this we will apply see in the uh, rule section okay we suspect temperature less than 20 and a humidity in the air huh. in the then part we have to see what two okay all of you there Yes, so in the backward state space planning what we done we we start from the goal and where you are comparing this goal in which part of the knowledge base if part or the then part then part then part so after comparing this with the then part we get the two sub outcomes yes yes because it is getting matching matching with the then part of the rule one we get the two outcomes are what we suspect temperature is less than 20 and there is a humidity in the air okay now we have to compare these outcomes or sub goals in the knowledge base again okay and we have to see which of these which of these two out of these two uh, sub goals matching with the certain then part of the rule now if you see this one first one what we suspect temperature is less than 20 okay what we suspect temperature is less than 20 this outcome each match is matching with the then part of the rule too where it is matching then part of the rule too let's see
see here what we suspect hmm. temperature is less than 20 it is matching in the then part of the rule too yes or no yes so from that yes. from that what we have to now we will get the two facts yes sir is and the cloud and here okay, is remember it. this same i have written there okay so see same i have written here so our sub goal number 1 this is matching with the then part of the rule 2 and then we got we get we get our two sub goals these two sub goals we get sun is behind the cloud correct and air is very heavy cool uh, sorry uh, air is very cool okay we have got, we have got these two facts available now what sun is behind the cloud and air is very cool cool now what was our given facts first given fact was sun is behind the cloud sun is behind the cloud second was what air is very heavy heavy and third was what air is very cool cool so cool. out of these three facts we have reached to the two facts yes or no yes sir yes understood now yes sir same i have written here now let's see next and if you see the sub goal number 2 we are this sub goal now now we have to check in which then part of our knowledge base this is matching from this two from this one goal we have got these two sub goals correct yes sir from this sub goal we have got these two facts now one sub goal is still available there is a humidity in the air and that sub goal you have to compare where in the knowledge base what was our sub goal our remaining there is a humidity in the air now you have to check in the then part where is the there is a humidity in the air is matching here rule 3 yes rule 3 from this we are getting the fact is what if air is very air is very heavy heavy now from the first sub goal we have got these two facts and from the second sub goal we get we get third fact that is a is very heavy heavy which is nothing but our second fact b and here now we can see we have got the three facts a b and c how you have got the how you have got this you have started from the there are the chances of the rain and we reach to the all the facts from that yes or no yes understood so forward stage planning like we have seen starting from this initial state to reach to the goal state and backwards it nothing but like starting from these goals and try to reach to the initial state here we have refer the initial state as a data or fact and we have refer to the goal state as a conclusion number of times the comparison being asked between the forward chaining versus the backward chaining or the forward states planning versus the backward states planning one of the important number of now number of uh, comparison we can make here but one important comparison we have seen there that is what the forward state planning is what data driven method yes or no yes and backward state planning is what goal driven goal driven method. method now question can be asked in the different way describe why the backward states planning is called as the goal driven method then what will be your answer your answer Because will be the initial state is goal your answer will be the our second example that we have seen starting from the goal and reaching to the states initial state. understood these two points these are very important yes yes sir okay <clears throat> i will upload this you can go through the video afterwards okay that's it from today's lecture thank you all of you thank you sir thank you sir